welcome to tomatoes puppies and everything gardening i'm heather i am coming to you from central virginia zone 7a and today i'm going to start my first winter sewing project of 2023 and it is going to be for artichokes i normally and this is my third year starting artichoke from seed i normally start my artichokes indoors around mid january so I'm just a little bit late, um, but because of some issues that are going on right now with indoor space inside and grow light space availability um, and the possibility of us wanting to be able to show our house possibly in the next month or two, um, if we find somewhere we'd like to move to, I have decided I need to grow as much as I can outdoors. So. I have done winter sewing before and I do know you can start artichoke with the winter sewing method so that's what we're gonna do this year we are not gonna start them indoors um, I'll put a few pictures up of my artichokes from previous years they are adorable <laughs> especially the first few weeks but they grow super big super fast and you know gosh how many did I start last year five they took up almost a whole shelf of my indoor growing system that I had set up last year um, in the bay window behind me. So I don't want to devote all that time to them. So we're going to try this. I've never winter sown artichokes, but I've had great success um, with doing indoor artichoke seedling starts. Um, so in the previous years, when I started traditionally indoor method with like, you know, soil and little cups, I did the green globe but this year since I have limited space here on my property and I'm not sure where we'll be when these are ready to be harvest which is about 80 to 90 days um, from transplant into the soil um, and they will not be transplanted until it's warm outside well I'll back up on that and we'll talk about that when we're actually putting these into our little milk jugs um, you do have to give artichokes a period of cold weather, but not freezing weather. We're talking 45, 55-ish range for, I'm thinking it might be 14 days. It might be a little bit longer. Um, anyway, so this year I'm going to try either Wonder Artichoke, which is, a which is a hybrid, or I'm going to try the Violet Artichoke. And I think I'm only going to do three because I have enough space for probably three, maybe four. I still have some outdoors in the ground. I do not think the ones I grew last year in containers survived, but I should have two that come back up as a perennial for me that were uh, grown in prior years. Um, so let's get started. I'll show you what tools I've got. Um, I'm just not getting started because, well, this is my first winter sewing jug of 2023 haven't done this since last january february march so you just need a jug that's opaque or clear and you need some type of device to put holes into the bottom uh last year i kind of got into the habit of using a glue gun but i've probably ruined it um but it'll still work for my purpose um oh, i just ordered this from walmart.com it's only it was six bucks so this works great. It's a soldering iron and I used my husband's last week for something garden related. Um, what was it? I can't remember. Anyways, it worked great. So I went ahead and ordered my own. And sometimes what I have done in the past is I just put a drill bit the size of the hole I want and use a drill. It's a little more clumsy that way. I prefer just to use a heat method just to pierce the only thing is this is kind of a small tip. You can buy some that have different size tips, but I just wanted to get something cheap because I know I'm going to be putting plastic on it. Didn't want to invest a lot. Um, oh, and duct tape. So some type of tape that is going to provide a really sticky, strong adhesion because what you're going to do is kind of leave this area of the milk jug intact. And then you're going to cut all the way around so that when you open this and flip the top open, 
it still stays attached back here at the base. And then you're gonna fill, after your holes are uh, put into the milk jug, and we're gonna do this here in a few minutes, step by step together. Um, you wanna have about three to four inches of soil in there, and you wanna use a really high quality, or the best you can get potting mix, not garden soil, not anything that's real dense or uh, full of wood chips or bark or mulch. Something really nice and fluffy and well, um, uh, well, it, it would be ideal that it does have fertilizer. So some type of potting mix. And so that's it. We're going to get started and I will talk as I'm moving and I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see kind of my view of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, I will say the germination rate on both of these say that it is 90%. From doing this for two to three years in a row, I know that for the Green Globe, the germination rate was never that high for me. And I've went through two whole packs of artichoke seeds in the last two to three years. Um, I would say maybe more like 50% germination for me in an indoor setting. Maybe I'll have better luck with the milk jug as far as the germination rate. So this is going to be a fun experiment that we can do together and uh, follow along. So I will flip the camera and let's get started. Okay, so that soldering iron thingamabob is smoking. So I think we're ready. And I brought in some dirt from outside. Had a bag delivered the other day and it's been sitting on my front porch. And I do not recommend it. It was called um, Back to Roots Organic Soil from Walmart. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it today for my artichokes. I would not use this for anything that's a real fine little seed. Um, I'm really disappointed. It's very barky, chunky, mulchy. You can see these big chunks. This is not good, but the artichoke seeds are really large. They're really strong. They will pop right through this. So I'm okay with this for right now, but I am gonna, um, I think I'll use that bag of soil to go mulch my Alpine strawberries that I've been meaning to do this week. And um, I've got some more dirt out in my van, in the trunk, so we're good. It's just for right this second for this demonstration and recording, I feel okay to go ahead and use this. Um, just because I know the artichoke seeds are really big and I think they can push through. Okay, I did do a test um, hole there a few seconds ago and I think that's why the little um, soldering device was smoking because I had done that. Um, I went ahead and cut. I left the back intact so we have a hinge. And I cut all the way around with a knife. You can do that however you feel safe, uh, safest. I use like um, just a steak knife, but I want you to use whatever you feel most comfortable and safest using because I don't want you to cut yourself and be like, oh, well, Heather said use a steak knife and it would be perfectly fine. Um, do whatever is safest for you and your dexterity and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put at least nine to ten more holes in there. And then we will start adding the dirt. Okay. So this is important. You do not want all of your holes on the very flat surface of your milk jug bottom. You want to add some holes kind of in the raised up ridge area if there is one and then also off to the side. Because if you have this on a flat surface and you cover up these flat holes that are on the very flat uh, surface of this um, milk jug, you're not going to remove a lot of the liquid and you don't want your seeds to sit in water. So I added some side holes and then also some up in the ridge area. Okay, so now we're ready to put the soil in and make some labels. Here's an inside view. I did quite a few holes, more than what I told you originally because they are rather small and I wanted to make sure my artichokes had really good drainage because they like moist soil, but they don't like damp waterlogged soil. So um, that's what's going on. And remember, we're creating like a greenhouse effect. So it is gonna have condensation and moisture naturally building up inside. So we want lots of good drainage. I went ahead and made my label. 
we're going to do the violet artichoke. I'm going to put two seeds in this container and with the hope that at least one will germinate. The soil is already moist because it arrived that way when I ordered it. It was a delivery order and um, this was supposed to be, it was sowed as indoor slash outdoor potty mix, uh, organic. It had really good reviews, but I'm going to tell you guys, please don't buy it. I mean, unless you want mulch. Look at this. I mean, I guess I have medium sized hands, but look at that big chunk there. Now, I would buy this if I wanted to go mulch some plants um, with a nice, like, fertilized soil that is just super chunky. And I do use stuff like this for that purpose. More of, like, just kind of uh, weeding and mulching around my plants. I'll use something like this. But I do not recommend starting seeds in this. But I'm going to go ahead and see what happens since this is what I have ready to go right at this moment. And... Um, I think the artichokes will be able to push through and do okay, but this is not ideal. I mean, this is not ideal at all. Okay, so I think even though the soil is moist, it's not uh, moist enough for me. So I'm going to add just a little bit of spritzing with my water bottle, and then we're going to put the seeds in. So um, these water bottle sprayers for horses are really nice. You can get them at like Tractor Supply. Um, this is what I like to use on my seedlings when I'm spritzing because you can kind of turn them upside down in all different ways and they still work. So I'm going to give that a little bit more spritzing. I'm going to put the seeds in. I'm going to show you the seeds first because um, maybe you've never seen an artichoke seed. So let's do that. So the violet artichoke seeds are not as big as the globe artichoke seeds, at least from my memory, and I could be remembering wrong, but I feel like those are so much bigger. These look kind of small. Um, so for planting depth, I have not researched this yet. I should probably do that, but I'm not because, you know, I'm very impatient sometimes. And I think what I'm just going to do is about double uh, the seed with there as far as planting, maybe come up just slightly. Um, I always think it's better to err on the side of being a little too high or closer to the soil level than too deep. So I'm just gonna stick these two guys in there and see what happens. Um, hopefully they will germinate. Whoopsie. All right, so we'll just let that guy be there and then we'll let this other guy be right there. If they both germinate, that's great. And I'll figure out what to do later as far as will I separate them or leave them both in this pot? I don't know. So I'm going to push it down slightly and I'm just going to cover it a little bit. I don't want to make it too hard on them since this soil is very chunky. Okay, so now it is time to stick our label in. And what I like to do is I stick my label kind of like towards the very back where that hinges so that it's kind of protected from the sticky tape. Okay, so I applied my uh, duct tape all the way around. Actually, I did almost like one and a half, two layers all the way around to get a nice seal. I prefer to use kind of neutral colors of duct tape, but you can use whatever you like. I just don't like to see a bright contrast. I like it to kind of blend into the milk jug so it's not as, I guess, in your face. I don't know. Um, so that's it. We're done. This is ready to go. Um, after I end the video, I will write the name and the date probably on the other side as well. We do have the tag in there. And you can see the artichoke seeds are still covered. You want to leave the lid off. And I think I'll make another video on winter sowing later and we can talk about what to do if you have seedlings that are growing and you can see them, they've sprouted and you get a, a hard freeze or really, really cold weather, what are you gonna do? Um, so we'll talk about that later. 
but I'm excited. This is my first jug of 2023. So stay tuned guys, follow along. There, I've got so many seeds we need to get into jugs. Um, and if you've been following along with me, you know that I've got the HOA issues and they are coming into the backyard this year. So I gotta figure out what to do with all these milk jugs. So stay tuned, I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. Do y'all see that smoke? This is one reason uh, I may not actually like using the soldering iron because I don't like smoke and I don't want to start coughing. So maybe this is an outdoor job for me. Um, I don't know. This milk jug has a different bottom. So you definitely want to add your side vents um, for one that is flat like that on the bottom.